clutches of Satan. The way of holiness is the best way that ever hit the planet Earth. And it was here before I was born. We're just fortunate enough by God's mercy and by God's grace to come into the knowledge of God's perfect and infallible way. To all of our ministers and to the guest minister that is here, we thank God for all of you, to all of our guests. Boston, last night, 66 were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, so Brother James is current? All right, let me look at all of these baptisms that take place. This is another week's report. As I mentioned, 66 here in Boston so far. Eight in headquarters, six in Miami, one in Lafayette, Louisiana, two in Monroe, three in Detroit, three in Mobile, five in Newport News, three in Raleigh, three in Houston, 23 in Dallas, two in Little Rock, Arkansas, five in Memphis, one received the Holy Ghost, two in Columbia, South Carolina, eight in Baltimore, one in North Chicago, eight in Bronx, New York. Fourth and four in Orlando, nine in Arizona, five in Los Angeles, two in Sacramento, seven in Atlanta, one in Rocky Mount, three in Milwaukee, three in Cleveland, one in Montreal, Quebec, six in Ontario, Canada, five in Ghana in Africa. That's 197 souls. You know, God certainly is moving through the truth of God regardless of where it goes. It's a blessing to have something that's not stifled. It don't need to be wind up. It stays on all the time. And every place this message goes, it guarantees, God guarantees results. This is my first time here in Boston, in your old wicked city. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure, God willing, it won't be our last because here as well as every other place with the grace of God, give us some time. Some time will take longer in some areas than others. But we're looking to open up the truth of God temple here. For the correction, for the correction of the soul of the people. You have a whole lot of churches in Boston. In fact, you have too many here. But God's church, and I do mean God's church. Somebody heard me last night over the air when I said we're going, God willing, open up a church in, uh, here in Boston. And there were some apostolic groups. Say, what you preach is already here. In other words, they don't want me here. Because the preachers feel as though they're going to lose members. And they ought to lose them so you can go get a job and go to work. My job as a fisherman is to tell you what's right. I don't travel the world to make friends with nobody. We travel to tell you what the word of God said. We're not getting paid. We're not trying to rob you. We're not trying to duke you. We're not trying to con you. But we are working consistently to keep you out of hell. Whether you believe in hell or not, it's coming. And what made hell come into being to begin with? It is because people went after that that was not of God. And it provoked them. Somebody's phone is ringing. You may want to answer it. Yeah, man, is that Sister Tamika phone? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not you? She let me know it ain't her. All right. All right, well, you mothers, you sisters, y'all huddle together now. You get it together. Tell the devil stop calling you. So Boston, <clears throat> all you preachers that think I'm your enemy, I'd rather be a friend of God first 
And I'm encouraging all preachers and all churchgoers, get on God's side. Take all the religion that men started, flush it down your toilet. It may clog it, but by a few plunges. The religion of men is what have brought about all this confusion. That's how all these denominations come about. And that's how all these liars come tell you it doesn't matter what you believe. You believe what you want. You believe what I want. Ha. Scripture come to mind, Williams. Mm -hmm. One say I am of Paul. Another say I am of Apollos. First Corinthians chapter 1. Oh, you think you got it right, don't you? <laughs> Follow me, viewers, because this is you, That's your right. mama, your father, your grandfather, your cousins. Many men out here are starting churches, starting groups. Yeah. Do you realize the dangerous move you made? Right. Who told you to start a church? Get me. Right. When you said God led you, when you said that, did you have enough experience with God to indict him, yeah. to blame it on him? How are you born again? Were you baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Did you have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue? What are you teaching the people? Are you adding to the prosperity mess that hide under the heading of religion? This is a very scary position to be in. Because there's only two directions where the preachers lead anybody. Heaven or hell. There ain't no purgatory. I know you Catholics wish it, wish it was, but it ain't happening. <laughs> if purgatory was real, I wouldn't be here. No. Hey Amen. Would you be here with him? No way. I know you wouldn't. <laughs> there is no purgatory. You ain't too good for heaven. You ain't too bad for hell. So you rest on an eternal cloud. <laughs> Sitting back on a cloud like you on West Palm Beach, chilling out That's right. throughout eternity with a non-version spiritual daiquiri. <laughs> that ain't happening. It's not happening. It's heaven or hell. <laughs> right with God or you're wrong with God. Follow me in your Bible. Listen at this. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, we'll start at verse 11. All right. For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, yes. by them which are of the house of Chloe. It hath been declared unto me concerning you, my brethren. By them which are of the house of Chloe. Yeah. Uh -huh. That there are contentions among you. That's what you have among religion now, contention. Contention. Everybody got their own religion, got their own belief, and for some dumb reason, hmm. thank you, justify it. Right. If there's one God, and it is, I want you to hear me so I can roast you like chestnuts on an open fire. <laughs> there's only one God, and God don't have a smorgasbord. No. Jennings is talking back to Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> must be a miracle. How did that happen? How did that happen? Glory to Amen. God. God don't have an open buffet like Golden Corral. No. That you can choose the religion of your choice. That's right. God have never, hear me good viewers, set up the scriptures. So you can choose passages of scriptures, then start a religion around that passage of scripture. That's right. Let me make an example. What of God say how God rests on the seventh day from his creation? Mm -hmm. The seventh day. Somebody read that and went and started seven day Adventists. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. Children of Israel come together during the Feast of Weeks. And then the New Testament and say when the day of Pentecost was fully come, somebody saw that term, started a Pentecostal church. That's right. 
Somebody read the scripture and talk about the laying on hands of the presbytery. Oh, they hijacked that word. Yeah. Start the Presbyterian church. Mm -hmm. They saw the birth of Jesus, his name and the title Christ. And then the followers was first called Christians at Antioch. Right. They hijacked that name and took and started a heading Christianity. And I want everybody to know there's not a religion in the Bible nowhere. nowhere. That's called Christianity. I know that shocked some of you. That's right. Because you thought that was your religion. <laughs> God have never at no time claimed a religion and called it Christianity. No. That's what your pastor called it. That's right. That's what your mama called it. That's what your daddy called it. Right. Go to the Bible. You hear me pleading with you over the air. Come back to the Bible. Right. Come on back. The reason why I tell you come back because you left it. That's right. I'm telling you come back. That's right. I remember talking to a Muslim one day, Nation of Islam. <coughs> we got to talking about religion and I asked him, is God a Muslim? He never had no one ask him that before. Mm -hmm. He looked and got happy. He said, brother, no one ever asked me that. He said, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. He said, alhamdulillah to me. I said, Allah, Allah, warfak, Allah, Allah, warfak. In other words, he got happy. I got happy along with him because I know where I was going. <laughs> That's right. He said, yes, brother. God is a Muslim. Hmm. I said, what do Muslim or Islam mean? He said, one that submits to God. I said, so if God is a Muslim, like you said, who do God submits to? Mm. He looked. I said, my God submits to no one. That's right. My God don't submit to nobody. That's right. There's nobody higher than God, equal to God. God have no rivals. God have no partners. God have no associates. Hear me good, Trinitarians? That's right. Amen. Ain't no little God help the Almighty make the heavens and the earth. No. Hear me good, Jehovah Witnesses? That's right. Jehovah ain't a big God, and Jesus is a sidekick like Batman and Robin. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old troublemaker? That's right. He says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is what? One. 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 That's the foundation of truth. That's right. The foundation of truth is how many gods it is and who is that God. Who is it? And if you don't know who is God, your whole wish up is no good. That's right. Listen at this now. For it hath been declared unto me. Give chapter and verse again. Still in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 11. It hath been told me. Of you, my of brother. Of you, my brother. By them which are of the house of Chloe. That what? That there are contentions among you. There's some type of contention. There's some. Um, Confrontations going on among God's people in Chloe's house. Now this I say, uh -huh. that every one of you uh -oh. saith, I am of Paul. Look at here. <laughs> Amen. That's what's going on now. That's right. Listen at the Apostle Paul break it down. Paul born in Tarsus mm -hmm. in the city of Cilicia. Brother Paul sat under the feet of a man named Gamaliel, who the word of God said was a Pharisee, a doctor of the law. Mm -hmm. Taught Paul according to the perfect manner of the law. Paul was a Hebrew. He came out the first tribe that ever gave Israel a king, which is the tribe of Benjamin, the youngest son of Jacob. Right. From Benjamin, you have the Benjamites. Pastor mm -hmm. Paul was on his way to Damascus to do the devil's bidding. That's right. God interfered with him. That's one of the best days of your life is when God interfere with your life. That's right. That's the best day. That's right. A light shined from heaven above the brightness of the sun. Knocked Brother Paul down to the earth and God spoke from heaven. God, spoke. God did. God. And what did he say? And he fell to the earth. In chapter and verse. Acts chapter 9 and at verse 4. He, he fell to the earth. And heard a voice saying unto him. Saying what? Saul, Saul. Saul, 
Saul. Why persecutest thou me? What you bothering me for? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? He said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. If the Lord said he is Jesus, who you say he is? That's right. The Lord said, I am Jesus. The Lord gave his name. <laughs> yes, he did. And if the Lord, nobody knows his name better than him. That's right. What do you look like arguing with me? Your name ain't Gino. What up? That's right. I know you better than you know you don't. No. God talk here. That's right. I said, God talk here. And he fell to the earth. Fell and, to the earth. And heard a voice saying unto him. And said what? Saul, Saul, why persecutest Saul, thou me? Saul. Why persecutest why thou me? Why are you persecuting me? And he said, who art thou, Lord? Somebody said, the Bible didn't say God was talking. I want to balance this balance out. Give out. me Psalms. Psalms 100. Chapter 100. And at verse 3. And verse 3, then we'll alternate back with Acts 9 and 5. Amen. So Amen. You mm -hmm. see, I got to go to the Old Testament and sock you there. Right. And I got to get the New Testament and sock you there. And once I hit you with the left and hit you with the right, I'll knock you in the middle of Scripture. That's right. You said there wasn't God talking to Paul. Mm -hmm. The Bible says the Lord. Psalms 100 and verse 3. The Bible says, who art thou? Who art thou, Lord? Lord. Lord. And the Lord. Said. The Lord. The Lord said. The Lord said. I am Jesus. Now let's read who the Lord is. Psalms 100 and verse 3. What? Know ye that the Lord. Know ye. Hear me. Hear, hear, you old hypocrite. That's right. The Bible says, know ye. That the Lord. That the. The Lord. One. That's right. Who is the Lord? He is God. And what the Acts 9, 5 says. And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who you say he is, hardhead. That's right. Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. And the Old Testament says what? Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Well, Pastor Jennings, Jesus is another Lord, and Jehovah is another Lord, so that's two. Give me Ephesians, Ephesians 4, 5. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 5. One Lord. What? One Lord. How many don't know? How many can't count the one? Don't know how many one is? That's right. Raise your hand and show me your stupidity. That's right. How many? One Lord. One How Lord. many? One Lord. And King David said in Psalms, who was what? Know ye that the Lord, he is God. And when the Lord gave his name in Acts 9, 5, who did he tell Paul who he was? And the Lord said, I oh, Wait, wait, wait. And what? And the Lord said. The Lord said it? The Lord said. The Lord said it? The Lord said. The Lord said it. The Lord said you got to be That's a servant right. of hell That's right. to dispute what the Lord said. What the Lord said. And now you're going to be that dumb and tell me the Lord don't know himself? Amen. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. Whom thou persecutest. Whom thou persecutest. So there was an argument mm. in mm -hmm. the house of Chloe. That's beautiful, brother. It is beautiful. That's beautiful. An argument. There are contentions among you. Go back and give chapter and verse. I want to take my time and show you because the same contention that exists then exists now. That's right. Uh -huh. First Corinthians chapter one, we're at verse 12. Follow me. Now this I say, that every one of you <coughs> saith, I am of Paul. Every one of you say, I am of Paul. And I of Apollos. Another group say, I am with Apollos. And I of Cephas. Another group say, I'm with Cephas or Peter. And I of Christ. Another group say, I ain't with none of y'all. I'm a, I'm a Christian. Is Christ divided? No. That's it. Amen. No, Christ is not divided. That's right. Christ is not divided. That's right. Hear this. I, is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified? For Paul didn't die for you. Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? That lets you know, don't you get so caught up in Paul. That's right. Even though he was an apostle of the truth, don't you get caught up in Paul. That's right. Because Paul ain't said nothing. That's right. Don't say, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings, all that writing Paul did, I said, yeah, Paul. 
and said nothing. That's right. Which at the first? I said Paul. Paul did. Paul oh, ain't said nothing. No, he didn't. Let me show you how this stuff was done through Paul. Hebrews chapter 2 and at verse 3. What happened? How shall we escape? If how shall we escape if we neglect? So great salvation. How was this salvation preached? Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. The Lord preached this first. That's right. That's right. The Lord preached this first. Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. Then how did we get it? And was confirmed Then it was us. confirmed. That's it. The apostles confirmed the teachings that they got from the Lord to us. By them that heard him. They heard him. That's it. They, they heard him. Amen. Hallelujah. They heard him. That's right. They didn't hear them. No, him. I hear him. That, that's right. You out there hear them. That's why you're so confused. That's right. Getting up in the morning praying to some cross with an image on it. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and in the hospital. In the name of the Father, in the Holy Ghost. Walking down the street or on the bus. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. The Bible ain't tell you pray to them. No. The Bible teaches us to pray to him. Now, therefore, O oh, our God. Hear this? Now in the book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 17. Now, therefore. O oh, our God. Do what? Hear the prayer. Wait. Go back. Do what? Now, therefore. Now, therefore. O oh, our God. Oh. Oh. I want to make it plain oh. so folks can hear. That's right. Oh, our, our God, G-O-D, G-O-D, uh -huh. hear the prayer, hear the prayer of thy servant. That's all I want to hear me. Oh, Lord. One. Oh, Lord. Hear. <laughs> amen. Amen. Hey, amen. Oh, Lord. Hear. Oh, Jesus. Hear. That's right. Huh? That's right. Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord and said, the Lord said, I am Jesus. And who is he saying he wants to hear? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Say God. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hear. Yeah. You know, when you want the Lord to hear your prayer, you want God to hear your prayer. And when God hear your prayer, that's Jesus answering your prayer. Hallelujah. Are you understanding? Hallelujah. The Lord is his title. That's right. God is his title. Hallelujah. But Jesus is his name. That's right. And Christ is his function. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you getting me? Oh, Lord, hear. You Trinitarians can't get this thing right to save your life. That's right. Many, many, many operations. By the one God. That's right. And the Bible tells us this. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, we'll start at verse 4. Solomon. Now there are diversities of gifts. They are different kind of gifts. But the same spirit. Same spirit. And there are div differences of administration. They are difference in administration. But the same Lord. But it's put together by the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations. They are different operations. They are different functions. They are different Deeds. But, but what? But it is the same God. Oh, no, it's not. It's another one. It is the same God which worketh. Wait, 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 wait now. Amen. Hallelujah. You better read that again. First Corinthians chapter 12 and we're at Everybody verse 6. Everybody that's praying to more than one God use a blind devil to see food. That's right. Your pastor, your imam, your rabbi, I don't care who you are. That's right. If you're trying to talk to more than one God, you a fool. That's right. Huh? First Corinthians 12 and verse what 6. What did he say? And there are diversities of operations. There are different operations. But it is the same God. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. Same God. It is the same. Yeah. Go ahead. Then make it rain in one place. Go ahead. Same God. Same God. Make it snow. Simultaneously. That's right. In another place. That's right. Same God. Let the sun shine. Yes. No interference with weather. That's right. In another place. Go ahead. Same God. Bring an earthquake. Yeah. Same time. Same time. In another place. That's right. Same God. Bring a tsunami. Yeah. 
in another place. Oh yeah. Same God bring a famine yeah. at the same time. That's right. In another place. That's right. Same God while the sun is shining interfere with thunder. That's right. Make it clap. Glory to God in the heaven. That's right. What did he say? And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God. Same God. Not Same three God. separate distinct personalities. No. Your schizophrenic thing, you. That's right. One God. It is the same God. Unlimited operations by this one God. Which worketh all. He work all. In all. And in all. In all. Mm. That's, that's what my God does. That's right. That's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. That's the God of Moses and Joshua and let Israel through the Red Sea. That's that God. That's it. That's that God Same that made God. Aaron rod. Hallelujah. Bug. Amen. Moses threw down the rod and it turned to a serpent, then swallow up all other rods. That's right. Same God came to the land of Egypt and wiped out the firstborn. Thank God. God of every Egyptian. That's right. Same God talked from the heavens, then opened up the Red Sea, and Pharaoh's behind Israel, but the waters opened up for God's people. That's right. That's right. Same God put on a body and called it a son. Go ahead. And left an example here on earth, went to the cross and died, pressed him in the side, Hallelujah. out came blood and water. That's right. Same God went to the lower parts of the earth, quickened that body, glory, Father, and let it stay around here a little bit longer. That's right. Same God took that glorified body and ascended above all heaven. That's right. Same God is the Holy Ghost Go in the church. That's right. Hallelujah. It is the same God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Same God. Which worketh all in all. He works all all in all in all that's oh, right take god that's right same one same god don't need no help no no oh no bible said when i looked there was none to help that's right when i wanted there was none to uphold that's right but with his own arm bless god he brought salvation that's right are you listening back in first corinthians chapter 1 and verse 12. hallelujah what did he say now this i say that every one of this you this i say that every, every one, one of, of you, you saith i am a paul you say I am of Paul. That's the way many of you are with yeah. religion. Yeah. This group say, I'm Pentecostal. That's right. This group say, I'm apostolic. Yeah. This group say, I'm non-denominational. That's right. This group say, I'm Jesus only. Right. This group say, I'm Presbyterian. Yeah. This group say, I'm Catholic. Mm -hmm. Another one, Mormon. Another one, Hebrew Israelite. Yeah. Another one, Muslim. Another one, Sunni Muslim. Yeah. Another one, Shiite Muslim. That's Another right. one, Nation of Islam Muslim. Yeah. Oh, yes. Every one of you. Every one of you. Every one of you saith, I am of Paul. Say, I am of Paul. And I am of Apollos. I am of Apollos. And I have Cephas. Of Peter. And I have Christ. Christ. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided? divided? Was Paul crucified for you? The any of these men die for you other than Jesus? Or were you baptized were in you the baptized name of Paul? Were you baptized in Paul's name? I thank God. I thank God. And I baptized none of you. But what? But Crispus and Gaius. And what? Lest any should say that I had baptized in my own name. Yes. And I baptized also the household of Stephanus. And Besides, I know not whether I baptized Now the other. apostle hmm. laid down work. That's right. And begin to put things in order. That's right. He asked, was Christ divided? Is Christ Did divided? Did Christ start the multi-religions that exist today? That's right. And all of you religions that hide in some church, you claim that you're worshiping Christ. Christ. So my question is now that Paul asks then. Is Christ divided? Is Christ? You better give me the book of Matthew, I believe, chapter 16. Yeah. Let's see how many churches did Christ say he going to start. That's right. Because somebody told a lie and I don't think it's Christ. That's right. Matthew chapter 16 and we're at verse 18. Come on, viewers. Come on back to the Bible. Follow me Follow. in your Bible. You might as well get ready to do it. I know you don't want to because you're afraid that the Bible going to strip you and make you naked. That's right. 
Glory to God, but your beard is too short. Your big old feet is hanging out. That's right. Eh? That's right. What did he say? Matthew eh? chapter 16 and verse 18. Solomon. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. And upon this rock. Upon this rock. I will build. Jesus talking. Je and Jesus answered. Jesus talking. And Jesus answered. Here's chapter and verse. Matthew chapter 16. We'll start at verse 17. All right. And Jesus answered and said unto him, uh -huh. Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona. <coughs> Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona. For flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee. Flesh and blood did not make it known to you, but the Spirit of God that is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church. And? And the gates of hell shall not prevail against All right, viewers, hear me, your hard head, stubborn, Bible-carrying, church-going things out there. That's right. Who started your religion? Right. Paul asks, is Christ divided? Is Christ divided. Yeah. And Jesus said, I will build my church. That's right. So who started your church, viewers? That's right. That's right. Amen. Get this. That's right. Who started your church? Amen. Who started it? Who started it? Who started the Catholic Church? Write me. Mm. You better not tell me Jesus did. I make you find it. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Who started the Mormon Church? According to the Mormon history, there was an angel named Mermon <laughs> who visited a pervert in upstate New York. That's right. By the name of Joseph Smith, he was a pervert. That's right. You had a pervert for a founder. Amen. And he was in up there, upstate New York, and the devil appeared him to him named Ramon. Yeah. And there's supposed to have been some sacred writings under the rock. Mm -hmm. And he got a piece of the rock, some good assurance. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's where the Book of Mormons is supposed to come from. Come from. The, na the angel name was Mermon. Ramon. Which showed they're not following Christ. No. Because they called themselves more men, yeah. meaning followers of the angel Mermon. That's right. When did God send any angel from heaven and send the angels to start a religion? That's right. That's right. Here, 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 good. You That's two right. elders walking up and down the streets of America. That's right. In everybody neighborhood knocking on their doors like you's a group of fake Jehovah Witnesses. Amen. Come on, you dynamic duels. <laughs> That's right. Jesus said, upon this rock. I will build my church. I'll build it. That's Who right. Who started your religion, viewers? That's right. Who started it? Who started it? You say you're Lutherans. Lutherans were started by a man named Luther, mm -hmm. who originally was a Catholic. That's right. And he had religious grievances. Yes. Yeah. Of religious beliefs and practices of the Catholic Church. That's right. And he opposed the Pope. That's right. And as a result of such, Mr. Luther started his own religion. Yeah. Lutherans were followers of Mr. Luther, That's not right. Lex Luther. Uh -huh. That's right. But Mr. Luther who was an original Catholic follower. Yeah. He broke off and started his belief. His belief. And those that congregated with Luther That's right. called themselves Lutherans. Yeah. Not followers of Jesus. No. Followers of Luther. That's right. That's right. Order in the church. That's right. Is Christ divine? You come along, started the Baptist. Mm -hmm. And you said that John, the one that baptized Jesus, yeah. his religion was Baptist. That's a lie so far out of hell. I wonder how did it got out, but it's out, and we got to blow it, smack it back. Well, that's right. So I said, well, what does it mean, John the Baptist? Yeah. It's talk about his occupation. That's right. John the Baptist. Mean John the Baptizer. Baptizer. John religion wasn't Baptist. No. Because John preached Jesus. That's right. There was a man sitting John on God. John preached Jesus so strong until John discredited himself. St. John chapter 1 and at verse 6. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
Listen at this. St. John chapter 1 and verse 6. Follow me in the Bible. I want to take you to school today. That's right. St. John chapter 1 and verse 6. All right. There was a man sent from God. There was a man sent from God. Whose name was John. It didn't say it was a religion sent from God. No. A man sent from God. There was a man sent from God. Whose name was John. And Jesus preached John and said of them, born of a woman. That's right. There's not a greater prophet than John. That's right. Uh -huh. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. Yes. That all men through him might believe. Wait a minute. The same. The same came, came. for a witness. John was here. For a witness. To bear witness to of the bear light. To bear witness of Jesus. That all men through that him all might believe. That all men through him might become believers. He was not that light. What? He was not that light. Every Baptist might as well sit down and start over. That, that's right. You that blame John for your religion, you're a liar because you, now you put yourself in a sad predicament. Sad. Because the Bible said about John he situation. Was, he was not that light. So that means Baptist is a religion of darkness guiding people to hell. That's right. That's the Bible right. speaks plain. St. John chapter 1 and verse 8. He was not that John light. John was not the light, but what? But was sent to bear witness of that light. He was sent to bear witness of the light. That was the true light. <laughs> Amen. That was what? That was the true light. And you going to tell me don't matter what religion you go to. My Lord. And what church you join. Amen. It's Christ divided. It's Christ divided. <laughs> Wonderful. Brother. This is a thinking message today. Oh, yes. It's Christ divided. It's Christ divided. Think of it. Your father is a Baptist. Your mother is a uh, morning star of the Ma or Eastern star from the Masons. Your son is Jehovah Witness. Your other brother is non-denominational. Your grandfather is apostolic. Here you have a husband who's a Pentecostal sleeping with a Muslim, and she's birthing little Antichrist. <laughs> That's right. Is Christ divided? What? Is Christ divided? Hallelujah. All these religions under That's one really sheet. That's true. Huh? That's true. At the head of the table, there's a Pentecostal. That's At the right. other end of the table, there's a non-denominational. Right. At the other plate of grits, there's a, there's a uh, Baptist. And on the other side, getting some home fries, is a Catholic. <laughs> That's right. Is Christ divided? Amen. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Hate me much as you want. I don't care. Come back to Bible. <laughs> That's right. Find your religion in the Bible. That's it. That book that you claim you believe. Amen. If you believe it, you will go and investigate it. And if your religion is not in there after the investigation is over, over. you will back out. That's right. From that religion. That's right. You won't let nobody know what you are. No. You be That's out there bragging, right. I'm Baptist giving pamphlets. Have you accept Christ today? Yeah. Have you accept Christ today? Then you hear this message. <laughs> That's right. You start going home investigating. Where the Baptist church at? Baptist, hmm. Baptist church. Where the Baptist, what chapter and verse is the Baptist church in? That's right. That's and right. you come up blank. Blank. Amen. Right. Amen. Next time you see that person outside. <laughs> hey, Mr. Baptist. Why you ain't got nothing to say? That's right. <laughs> I found out I wasn't in the Bible. That's it. Right. That's right. Viewers, this is serious business. Oh, yeah. The world is populated with religions. Oh, yes. And God himself Amen. told us what to, to be That's one right. thing. That's right. That's Think right. of it. Not your mama, not your father, ahead, not brother. your relatives, not your family tree. That's right. Jehovah. Jehovah. I am oh, yes. that I am. That's right. Told the world That's right. what to be. In Leviticus chapter 19, we'll start at verse 1. You mean to tell me you more committed to some religion? Yeah. That God did not tell you to be? That's right. That's I mean, right. you go to religions because they talk about your color. Black this, black that, black the other, black power, blue power, brown power. <laughs> Others, your white power, white this, white that, oh, white yeah. the other. Oh, yeah. Well, right, what do God care about your That's color? He knows what color you are. That's right. He made your stubborn self. That's right. You ain't going to walk. You're not right because of your color. Is no. that what you think? No. 
You mean to tell me you think you're right because you black? You's a black fool. Mm -hmm. Hear the old troublemaker now with the rosha while I got you. In Leviticus chapter 19, we'll start at verse you 1. You think you're righteous because you're white? You, mm -hmm. Are you that dumb, be that dumb to believe such hellionism? That's right. You's a white fool. Oh, yes. God don't care what color you are. No. God wants the world That's right. to be the same thing. That's it. And God declared in the book of Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 19, we're at verse 1. What did God say? And the Lord spake unto Moses, the saying. The Lord. The Lord. Not Jennings. The Lord spake. That's why I preach it so hard so. to smash this black racist religion and white racist. I can't even count the amount of emails that come in from Hebrew Israelites. When are you going to tell your followers that the black people are Abraham's seed? I wouldn't care if you were mustard seed. <laughs> <laughs> if that seed don't obey God, don't that obey old God. seed going to go to hell. That's right. That's right. They're writing me now, telling me I'm of the devil because I'm bald-headed. <laughs> writing me. Hebrew Israelites is writing me. You and Williams up there, uh, bald-headed, and uh, you ain't got no beard, Pastor Jennings. Why you ain't got no beard? I ain't got a beard because I don't want none. <laughs> That's right. That's why. That's right. That's why I don't have one. No. Well, you got to wear a beard. I ain't got to wear a beard to be right with God. No. You think your beard going to get you to the kingdom? That's right. You can have a beard and be sleeping with a man. Oh, yeah. You and your beard that go to hell. That's right. Get me? That's right. What did the Lord say be? And, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying... One uh, Hebrew Israelite wrote me and said, The whole Bible is written to Israel. What a fool. What a if fool. the whole Bible was written to Israel, why would Cornelius be right? That's right. Cornelius wasn't a Hebrew. Cornelius wasn't an Italian. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. And, and the Lord spake unto Moses. The Lord! Amen. I want all my black, Hallelujah. brown, yellow brothers and sisters to get this. That's getting caught up in the Hebrew persona uh, that black people, this black people, that your blackness will not get you on God's good side. No, uh, what then? Do you hear this? In Romans chapter 3 and at verse 9. Uh, the Paul said, what then? Are we better than they? Are, are we better than they? No. In no wise. And Paul was a Hebrew of the Hebrew. That's right. Wasn't it? What I then? said Paul was a Hebrew of the Hebrew. That's right. And Paul asked a question here. What then? What then? Are we better than they? Are you better than everybody else? No. No. In no wise. It ain't happening. For we have before proved. We have before proved. Proved. Both Jews. Both Jews. And Gentiles. And all other ethnic groups. That they are all under sin. Hallelujah. 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 Do you hear this? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What? What then? What then? Are we better than they? Oh, we're God, Hallelujah. are you better than they? No. No. That's right. I don't care if you're on every corner with your clothes on like Alibaba <laughs> in the 40 Thieves. That's right. You can stand there and cuss out white folk, black folk, do whatever you want. What? That's if right. you think you're better than anybody else Go ahead. because of the color of your dirty skin, the Bible says. What then are we what better than they? Sin? Are we better than they? Are you better than everybody else? No. The Bible says what? No. The Bible says what? No. What the Bible says, church? No. What did he say? No. What did he say? No. In no wise. Not in no wise. For we have before proved. The apostle said he proved. Both Jews, both Jews and, Gentiles, and Gentiles. That they are all under you sin. You all under sin. As it is written. As it is written. There is none righteous. It is documented. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You go ahead, bro. <laughs> as it is before written. Before you were born. As it is written. Lord, they got this thing with documented. That's right. <laughs> there is none righteous. There is none right. No. No. Not. Not one. Not one. Hallelujah. The black, the white, all of you wrong. That's right. <laughs> That's Everybody right. got to repent. Everybody. Every, hallelujah. hallelujah. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. You skinheads that got a swastika on the back of your bald head. That's right. And claim you some white Christian, you not a Christian. Not a Christian. Huh? Not Amen. A Christian. You black fellas that got your head dreadlocked. And got your beard hanging down, replacing your shoelace. <laughs> That's right. 
and think if you cuss every white person out, that make you of Christ? No! No, no, no. You can take a branch off your backyard and walk the streets like you prophet Elijah. That's right. Have a turban on your head. That's what do right. I care? That's right. The Holy Ghost speak plain here. What then? What then? Are we better than they? No. I'm going to believe that. Amen. That's right. I believe that. I'm going to believe this. I believe that. <laughs> That's right. Give chapter and verse for that. Romans chapter 3 and verse 9. I want this to be good for anyone in here yeah. who feel good about your blackness. Your blackness ain't worth a termite's hold. That's right. Unless you repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, black man, you're going to go to hell, black man, when you stand before the judgment seat of God, black man. Go ahead, and man. God take the black man and throw the black man in the everlasting hell, Mr. Black Man. And you fall in a pit where the worms don't die, and you are the worm, black man, where Go the ahead. fire shall never be quenched. You will fall long as God remain God, and you and your fist gonna keep falling. <laughs> That's right. Down with the ship, Pastor. Down with the ship. <laughs> Amen. Are you listening? That's right. What then? Are we better than they? Are right, you better get this? Never Roman. mind, Pastor Jennings, get me out of it. That's right. This is Bible here. Romans chapter 3, Never verse mind, 9. Never mind, Pastor Jennings, get me out of it. That's I right. didn't write it. That's you right. can argue and fuss and try to discredit Brother Paul. Yeah. But Paul had more experience with God than you ever will have. That's right. A light shine from heaven. That's right. Knocked him down to the earth. Yeah. Later on, God made that man an apostle. Right. He has so much authority. He said, oh, an yeah. angel come from heaven. That's right. And preach any yeah. other gospel that different from what I preach. Yeah. Let the angel be a curse. That's right. And that same Brother Paul declared what by God permission. What then? Are we better than they? Are you better? Are you are we are better? Are you better? Than? No. In no wise. Am I better mm. than the one that got a beard and versus right. the one that don't have a beard? No. What about the one that got dreadlocks versus the one that don't? No. What about one that's white and versus one that's black? No. What about one that got on purple and gold clothes and here's the one got a three-piece suit? No. What about the one that got shoes like a Latin? No. And the one that got on Stacey Adams? No. You see how plain it is. That's right. You see how plain it is. That's right. Hey Amen. You walking around with all this fists and emblems on your house black power and then you other white fools got swastikas and little pictures of some infidel with a mustache under his dirty nose <laughs> who's right. laying the Christless grave now, now waiting for hell That's right. Amen. All of it, All of it. is of the devil. That's it. Oh. God wants the world to bow to him. That's right. God don't want the world to bow to no color. That's right. God wants the world to bow to him. Amen. God wants the world to pray to him. That's it. God wants the world to serve him. That's it. God wants the world to obey him. Yes. That's it. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. What then? What then? Are we better than they? Are you better than Brother Paul? No. Are you better than the Jews? That's no. right. In no wise. Not in no manner. For we have before proved both we, Jews we and proved Gentiles. That Jews and Gentiles. That they are all under sin. You're all in sin. As all it is written. Why? It's documented. There is none righteous. There ain't none right. No, not, no, not one. one. There is none that understandeth. There is none that understandeth. There is none that seeketh after God. <laughs> Amen. So, can two walk together? Yes. Except... They agree. They agree. After they say, I'm upon the palace. Is Christ divided? Is, uh, the, the, the other script, the scripture says this. Back in How first, is it then, brother? How is it then, Every brother? Every one of you mm -hmm. have a doctrine. First Corinthians 14 and verse 26. Listen at this. How is it then, brethren? How is it then, religious world? When ye come together. When you come together and wish up. Every one every of you. Every last one of you. Hath a song. Every one of you. Now, can you imagine five men singing one, five different songs at one time? Right. That's right. That would be confusing. Oh, yes. You only can sing one song at a time. That's right. Then everybody join in and help swing with that song. That's right. What did he say? How is it then, brethren, when ye come together? When you come together. Every one of you hath a song. Every one of you got a song. Hath a doctrine. Got a belief. That's right. You know, doctrine get you belief. Yeah. One believe in Trinity. And the word Trinity ain't never been in the Bible since the Bible been the Bible. <laughs> That's right. 
Every one of you. Every one of you. Has a doctor. Jehovah's Witnesses come along, not able to understand the Bible. They popped up with two gods. That's right. Have a doctor. Has a doctor. Another one come along and say, well, the Bible ain't meant for you to be understand. So he concluded there ain't no God, and God saw him before he was born. Yeah. And the Bible said the fool have said in his heart there is no God. There is no God. Every one of you has a doctrine. Another one come along and say Jesus was white. So they got all these pictures of white Jesus looking like he's one of the performers at Woodstock. <laughs> that's right. Who was hanging out with uh, Jimi Hendrix and, and the who. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> that's right. Looking like one of the beach boys, like you got John Lennon hanging over your bed. That's right. All right. Amen. Every one of you has a doctrine. Blacks come along and protest that picture. So they come along paintings of black Jesus. Right. Amen. They got him looking like some of the Hollywood actors. That's right. And ain't none of you seen him. Amen. Hmm? That's right. What they said? Every one of you has a doctrine. You got a doctrine. Has a you sprinkle for baptism after the Bible says you got to be buried. Be buried with You it. don't believe in the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and the Bible speak plain, plain that these signs shall follow them that believe. They shall speak with new tongue. That's right. You believe that women should preach and the Bible speaks plain that I suffer not, not a woman, woman to teach. That's right. Because nor the use of authority over the man. Mm -hmm. You believe you can divorce and remarry and the Bible speak plain that you're bound by the law as long as you live and you're not free until the husband dies. That's right. Every one of you has a All doctrine. of it is plain. Amen. Plain. But out of all that, plain. you still make up your own doctrine. That's right. And that's exactly what happened. Amen. Like the Catholic Church did. Yeah. They made up purgatory. <laughs> that's right. Who ever heard you don't become a saint until you die? My Lord. Man, if you can't become a saint until you die, I'm through with you. I'm through, I'm through, I'm through. with you. Yeah. I'm going to hook up with C-Rock. Where's Rock? <laughs> that's right. I'm going to hook up with C-Rock and tell him, hey, look. Take me one to one of y'all boring Boston clubs down here. <laughs> Amen. And I'm going to go Bostonian on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? That's right. Why? Because, hey, if I can be a sink after I'm dead, Ask it don't matter how I live now. Amen. Such rubbish teaching. Amen. If you're not a sink, and master the life that God command you to live. Yeah. While you're alive, when you die, you're going to burn in hell. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Every one of you has a doctrine. So doctrine and religious teachings are made up. Oh, yes. Like the nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. Elijah Muhammad died from bronchitis <laughs> and other physical complications in yeah. 1975. Yeah. Farrakhan come along and say, Elijah's not dead. He's on a spaceship. Wow. Called a mothership. <laughs> wow. Circling the earth. Amen. Man, Elijah is dead. He's dead. He said once in a while, he's on the mothership. Uh -huh. He's beamed up. <laughs> Lord. Lord, my Lord. Like Star Trek. <laughs> That's right. Kirk telling Scotty, Scotty, give me some more me power. Some more. Scotty said, I'm working as fast <laughs> as I can, sir. That's right. That's so right. Farrakhan says he hangs out once in a while with Elijah Muhammad. My Lord, my Lord. Up there on the mothership. Mm. And you got thousands of black victims. Yeah. That believe this ignorance. That's right. That Master Farad Muhammad was God. He was not God. No. How in the world he going to be God and the earth was here before he was born? That's right. If you're God, why would you have a birth date? That's right. So I said, you preach Jesus was God. I ain't talking about no flesh. Not the flesh. That flesh that Mary birthed wasn't God. That's right. What was in that flesh was God. That's it. That's right. Are you getting the old troublemaker? Every one of you has a doctrine. So they have a doctrine. That's a doctrine. And this is why the human race is confused. Because nobody Go ahead, man. is telling the people, yeah. believe what the scripture said. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's why we hold the Bible in front of you. Yeah. And then the ignorant come along. Well, Pastor Jenner, I ain't got confidence in the Bible either, dog. <laughs> because I feel as though, dog, that a bunch of white Europeans who ain't had nothing to do, dog, yeah. they got together and wrote the Bible. You know, dog, you dumb dog. Knowing this first. Look at your stupidity. Look at it. It ain't no man. Look at it. 
No man will write a religious book that's against him. No way. If a man write a religious book, that man is going to make every loophole for himself. That's right. To do whatever he wants to do. That's right. No sin will be spoken against. No way. That's why you think folks want to be Mormons. Mm -hmm. Because there's no boundary on sexual activity. That's right. You can, as a man, you can have unlimited wives. Amen. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's right. Do you hear this, every man? What then? What then? Every one of you has a doctrine. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians 14 and verse 26. Parliament. How is it then, brethren? Hey, 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 brothers. When ye come together. You viewers out there. Amen. All of you watching me now, millions around the world, you in some religion. That's right. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided. Did God start your religion? Hmm. Did God tell you to practice what you are? Right. Did God told you to burn them incense? Mm. Did God tell you to bow to that big belly bald head statue named Buddha? That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. Did God tell you to do that? Mm. Did God tell you to pack your head, both sides of the chest, in the back of your navel, and say in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, three, three, one, three, what? That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. How Did is God it? tell you to do that? Mm -hmm. How is it? How is it then, brethren? How is it then, brother? When you come together. When you come, did God tell you to flip cars and get advice from the Torah? That's right. Did God tell you to go visit a little shop where it got a hand and an eye in the middle of the hand and get some good luck from Sister Troy? <laughs> That's right. That's right. How is it then, How brother? is it then? When you come together. How is it then? How is it? When you come together. Every one of you. That's the song. And some folks so arrogant. Well, I don't practice no religion. I serve God my way. You know you's a fool. Uh -huh. Do That's you do fool. mathematics your way? <laughs> That's right. Or do you got to do mathematics according to the mathematical equation That's to it. get the right answer? That's right. You got to do this God way to get the right answer. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead, bro. There is no freelancing. No. In God. Oh, no. He's a God of order. That's He's right. a God of rules. He's a God of guidelines. That's right. What you think God is? <laughs> you think you so much that, well, I serve God my way. I just freelance him. I don't see nothing wrong with this. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Right. What may be a sin to you yeah. may not be a sin to me. You're right. You're right. You're That's right why that. God didn't leave it to you That's right. to start religion. That's right. All of you that think that way, that that's why God don't trust no man no. to start religion. No way. You would live together, not marry. Yeah. A hoe would be with Joe. That's right. Joe with his hoe. That's living right. together and not married. That's and right. And Joe won't go. <laughs> Joe stay with his hoe. They live together, not married. That's right. And when I tell Joe, you got to go, Joe said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? All the ways of a man are clean. Do you hear the Bible talking? In Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 2. Hear the Bible talking. All the ways of a man. All the ways. All the ways of a man. Of a man. Are clean. All right. Well, in, in his own eyes. How? In his own eyes. You mean to tell me you thank God in his great intelligence. That's right. Master of creation. Yeah. Master of the day of judgment. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he's so loose in his belief, he allow you human family to roam like vagabonds. That's right. And start the religion of your choice That's right. at will. Do you will. think God is that stupid? Amen. He going to trust a man to start religion, and that man can't flunk mathematics? <laughs> That's right. He ain't, been giving, he ain't been getting good grades in school. <laughs> but all of a sudden, he's going to pop up and start some religion. I'm going to start a religion. He's a dummy in school. That's but, right. But, oh, I'm going to start religion. I'm going to start a religion. Like this one fella. Mm -hmm. He's dead now. Remember Mordecai York? Mm -hmm. He started countless of religions. Yeah. To the degree he said he was God. My Lord. And when you left his organization, they put hits out on you. Killed you. Wow. The Father Divine was here. Back in the 1920s, back in the 1930s, and only the old heads remember that time. Yeah. Father Divine said he was God, he was God. Almighty. Yeah. Daddy Grace came here, mm. who started a church called the House of Prayer, 
for all people of the apostolic faith. He wore his hair past his shoulders and his fingernails he wore on the inch, two inch, three inches long until they twist. And his followers will put him on a throne Lord, Lord. and carry him around the church like he's a pharaoh. My Lord. And they get rid of the name of Jesus out of every song yeah. and saying, sweet daddy is mine, 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 sweet daddy is mine. My Lord. Lord. Come back to Bible. That's right. And the reason why the people are successfully being duped, yeah. you got divide and conquer. That's so right. Satan divide them by separating them from scriptures, then conquer them so he can drag everything to hell. That's right. That's why they attack me so bad. Yes, they because do. I'm in the wilderness of the world. That's right. Telling the world, right. I'm not the light. I'm not the light. But I come to bear witness of the light. That's it. Come back to the Bible. That's it. Come back. That's it. Come back. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. How is it then, brother? Come back. Young That's man, it. come back. That's Pull it. your pants up and stop showing your drawers like you're a male prostitute. That's right. Come back. You woman, stop living together, not married, like you's a neighborhood hooker. That's right. Come back. Yeah. Oh, yes. Come back. Come back. The Bible. That's right. Well, I don't believe it. Then sit still and get ready to go to hell. That's right. When you find your breath being altered and cramps run through your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, yeah. you'll start praying. Yes, you will. Huh? Yes, you will. You'll start praying, then you'll understand, you'll understand that you are nothing but a speck of dust here temporarily until God move you off the planet. That's right. What did he say? How is it then, brother? Glory be to the most high God. How is it then, brother? When you come together, you come together every one of you has a song. Everybody got a song. Has a doctrine. Everybody got a doctrine. Has a tongue. Everybody got a tongue. Has a revelation. Amen. Look at all the preachers in the world today. Yeah. What, are, what do all of them got in common? What are they preaching? Who can tell me? Prosperity and money. Yeah. And if you read the scriptures, God have never sent no man, no man, no man. to teach the people how to get rich. No. God sent men to teach the people how to get it right. That's right. You want to know how to get rich? Go to college, study, get a course under your belt, and master that course, and get a job and go to work. Right. The church is like the ark that Noah built, yeah. designed to save you from the judgment that's of right. God that's coming upon the world. That's right. That's what the church is for. That's right. That's right. These men ain't preachers. No. They're nothing but motivational speakers. That's it. These international mega preachers. Amen. They're not preachers. No. And this motivational speaking epidemic is going from country to country. Yeah. And they'll go to poor countries and rob the poor blind. That's right. That's right. I was watching a documentary. I think was last week. They were showing this mega false prophet in Africa. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I would love to get a hold of him and beat him unmerciful with the Bible. Amen. Amen. This mega prosperity liar in Africa. Amen. Got men guarding him with AK-47s mm. or 45, whatever you call them, rifles. Yeah. Guarding them. Lord. With rifles. My Lord, my Lord. Guarding them with machine guns. My Lord. And ain't preaching nothing. And these are poor people yeah. giving them his money. Oh, yes. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided? The African liars is rising up everywhere. Yeah. One preacher, listen, when you don't know the Bible, you can be made such a sad fool. That's true. There was one article in Africa where a false prophet, I can't think of his name, my son showed it to me, told the people he was sitting his behind on people's faces, passing gas in their face, my and Lord, then told Lord. the people, if you take the smell home with you and keep the smell, you will be prosperous, and the Lord will give you money. My Lord. <sighs> my Lord, my Lord. And grown men mm. was laying on the floor while he's squatting on the face, mm. passing gas. Lord. Now, if you knew the Bible, he couldn't get you down there. No. Oh, no. Another African liar mm. told the people that the Lord told him 
to go out there, for y'all to go out there and eat the fruit of the land. This man had a mega church in Africa. My Lord. And the members went out on an open field by hundreds and start on their hands and knees eating grass. My Lord. Like a cow. My Lord, my Lord. The preacher didn't do it. Mm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. The African preachers are inspired by the American mega primps. That's right. Right here in America. That's right. That's right. And the sinners don't respect the church. No. Because the sinners know that the churches ain't nothing but a game. That's right. They don't respect no church. No. No, no. That's why when the sinner hear us, they say, that man crazy. He ain't like everybody else. That's right. You're right. I'm nobody ho. I can't be bought. Amen. I'm not for sale. Amen. I was made a preacher. That's right. Same God that made Paul made me a preacher. Oh, oh yes. And that same Spirit that moved on Moses yeah. that preached to Israel. Yes. Move on me right now. That's right. Go hallelujah. That preach to the world. That's right. Go ahead. That's why we stand up against idolatry yeah. and paganism. Oh, yes. And heathenism. That's right. These men don't stand up against money, against nothing. nothing. In fact, they teach you it's a sin to be poor. Yeah. That's a lie. That's a lie. How you going to tell me it's a sin for me to be broke? You don't know what circumstances I fell in. That's true. That's true. Prosperity ain't got a thing to do with money. No. Prosperity ain't centered around nothing you ever own. Oh, no. Prosperity is the wisdom and the knowledge and then the understanding of who God is. That's it. When you learn who God is, God will show you who you really are. That's right. That's right. They're not preaching this. No. Jake's not preaching it. No. Alstein not preaching it. Cruffler Old Penny not preaching it. That's right. None of these mega church devils. No. Get over the air. God told me that he wanted me to fly around the world and spread the gospel. So church, I want all of you. Then they go on some tongue. Super Califrent and they say, Espialidocious. That's right. <laughs> and you church go and suck us. Yeah. Creflo Dollar had his followers give up $300 per person. My Lord. To buy a $65 million jet My so Lord. he can spread the gospel. Spread the gospel? What gospel is he spreading? Yeah. Prosperity and money. He's money. nothing but a businessman. That's all. Nothing more. That's all. A wonderful and horrible. I, I had somebody ask me, suppose somebody gave you a private jet. Oh, I, I, I'm going to turn it down. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sell it. Sell it. Take all those millions and buy more churches. That's right. I can't trust nobody flying me with this message. Oh, no. no oh, no. I don't want nobody flying me around <laughs> on a private jet with, with, not with, with this hard preaching. No way. They may start out right. Buckle, buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> we about to climb. Next thing I know, the devil get in him at 32,000 feet. <laughs> I'm taking this. I'm taking Pastor Jennings down. Taking down. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking him down. And I'm, I'm, I'm in the chair yelling. <laughs> Yelling like Kermit the Frog on Sesame Street. <laughs> Just yelling. That's right. <laughs> That's I right. don't need no private jet. I don't need no limousine. No, all no. I need is God and God's word. That's it. That's all. That's right. That's right. That's all. That's right. Hallelujah. If you work and buy a mansion with your own money, that's your business. That's your business. But you don't rob the people to get it. That's right. If you work and buy yourself a Bentley, that's your business. That's your business. And that's your right if you can afford it. Yeah. You don't steal from the people to get it. No. These preachers are literally stealing from the people. That's right. Robbing from the people in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, I can imagine if I could their anger on God's face when he appear in the heavens and he going to get even with every mega liar that took his name and pimped it. That's right. You fellas are pimping Jesus. That's right. You got the public belief that the Lord will bless you only based upon how much money you give. That's a lie out of hell. That's a lie. You ain't got to have a dime. No. And God can move heaven and earth for you. That's right. 
You ain't got to have a penny. That's right. And God can work wonders for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Are oh, you listening to the old troublemaker? How Hallelujah. is it then, brother? Glory take God. How is it then, brother? When, when you, you come, come together, together, every one of you has a song. Every one of you got a song. That's a doctrine. You got a doctrine. See, that doctrine of prosperity contradicts Jesus. Oh, yes. For Jesus said, the poor you will have with you always. Always. God ain't never purpose for everybody to be rich. No. Not at all. Not at all. If you get rich by working, that's your own business. That's right. But don't sin to get a, don't just sin to get a dime. That's right. Huh? You see what I'm telling you? Every one of you has a doctor. Every one of you. Has and a doctor. when you don't read the Bible, when you don't read. oh, you are a victim Ooh. of being seduced. That's quick, true. Con. And you find all these little pocket churches, <laughs> little right. storefront churches, hot pocket churches. <laughs> That's right. Where these men get callings from hell, and they go right in that little group of five people and yeah. fleece them. Oh, yeah. Get a yes, prosperity marriage and a message and fleece them. That's true. And then they tell them, they do this thing called the pyramid. Mm -hmm. You get an X amount of money, they tell you the Lord will bless. I mean, listen, this is how far the preachers will go over social media on television. For years, preachers sometimes will pretend like people's writing them. Yeah. So they get stacks of paper, set it on a big table on the television, <laughs> and say, look at all these thousands of letters, all these pledges that them came in, all these pledges. Amen. And they will beg you for two and three hours. Robert Tiltman was known for it yeah. in the 80s and 90s. Oh, yeah. He'll tell you, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. <laughs> That's right. The Lord wants you to give. Give, give. <laughs> then he'll say, oh, the Lord, so to the Lord, so to the Lord. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute. What did you say, Lord? Yeah, that's, that's right. He said, the Lord is talking to me now. He said, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Here it comes, here it comes. 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 That's right. That's right. When you don't know the Bible, you're a sucker. Amen. That's why they want to get me off the air. Oh, yes. Amen. Even TDJ supported directors wrote me. Mm. They want me off the air. Amen. They, 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 they contact the FCC. Said I'm too militant. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I, I'm a pit bull preacher. Right. Where when TD Snakes is just a large poodle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> with a large poodle. That's right. I'm a pit bull preacher. I come with the Bible. Sink my teeth in every man made religion yeah. and rip it to shreds. Right. You know, Jakes don't do that. No. He's a pit bull preacher. He just bounce around. <laughs> pit bull preacher. That's right. That's right. And you little hot pocket men that got these little churches admire that trash mm -hmm. because you're too much of a lazy bum to get a job and go to work. Right. So you hijack the name of Jesus and hide under a fake calling and say you got a vision. Liar. That's a lie. You ain't even got no conscience. You're a lie on God and say God said something and he didn't. That's Give right. Lamentations. Lamentations Quickly. chapter 3. And verse 37. You're going to answer to God for this lie. That's right. You're going to answer to God, you liar. When you finish that, give me Jeremiah chapter 23, begin at verse 18. Quick. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37. All right. Who is he that saith? Who is he that saith? And it cometh to oh, pass. Oh, thank God, and it come to pass. When the, when Lord, the Lord commandeth it not. He ain't said nothing. Nothing. That's right. A man, a true man of God is not an ordinary man. He's an extraordinary man. That's right. You won't get him away from the Bible, not even with a billion crowbars. <laughs> That's right. He won't preach his opinion, his idea, his philosophy. Mm -hmm. no. He'll stay within stay God's the word. Bible. The reason why a real man of God will stay within God's word because he always is motivated to stay on good terms with God That's right. because he never want to get at odds with God and face the judgment of God. That's he never right. wanted. That's right. A false prophet would say anything. Yeah. He would lie and say, thus saith the Lord with no conscience whatsoever because his Lord is not the Lord of heaven. His Lord is in your wallet. That's it. Every prosperity That's preacher's right. God is in your wallet. That's right. That's why he sent you to the bank. Amen. And tell you to withdraw your money oh, yeah. and give it to him. Oh yes. Who was that? Hal Campton? Remember was Hal Campton? Hal Campton. I forgot what year it was, back in 2012 or earlier. How Campton put it out internationally. Mm -hmm. that the Lord is coming such and such a year. And uh, he told all his followers, sell your house, yep. get rid of all your money, yeah. 
and this made worldwide news. Yes, it did. How camped in followers by the thousands. How captain said the Lord is coming such and such a date, and there's no need to own no land. That's Sell right. all your money. That's right. But how captain didn't sell not one piece of property right. he had, yeah. and he didn't withdraw a quarter. Amen. The date came and left. Mm -hmm. And the news media went around the country interviewing how captain followers. Some wives and husbands with children were crying. Sold their house. Lord. Had no place to live. I mean, living in the street. Mm. Sold all their land. Mm. Got rid of all their money. Some gave their money to Hal Camden. If the Lord is coming, why would you give it to him? He wouldn't need it. <laughs> That's right. I remember there was a Hispanic family, brothers and sisters, that I was interviewing. And they asked, what he, he said, I don't know what I'm going to do. He said, I don't know what I'm going to do. He said, I sold everything I had. He said, I trust this man with my life. Mm. And, and, and reporters say, the Lord didn't come, so what are you going to do? He said, so did Hal Campton lie to tell the truth? He said, I don't want to say. He's a liar! He's a liar. I say it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Feel us and you that are here. That's right. If any man pop up and said the Lord told him of any day or any year, and he's coming that day, don't believe it. Don't believe it. Because the Bible speaks plain of that day and that hour. That's what the word of God says. That's right. No man, no. Nobody. Nobody. It's a mystery. But God of that day. It, God, God left it as a mystery. That's right. Read fast. Mark chapter 13 and verse 32. That's what? But of that day. Of that day. And that hour. That hour. Knoweth no man. Nobody knoweth. No, not the angels no which are in heaven. No, no prophet. Mm. I don't, don't, I don't care what prophet come along and walk around your church shaking his hands. You see, you don't know God. And when these fellas get up with all these antics and dramatic, you're like, oh, man, the spirit is all over him. And he ain't nothing over him but the devil. He having a fit. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He ain't doing nothing but having a fit. <laughs> That's right. Walk around shaking his hand. The Lord said, "Thus said the Lord." The Lord said, "Thus said the Lord." The Lord said, "Everybody get ready." Notice they always talk like a robot. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The Lord said, "Everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. Everybody get ready." Jesus coming in 2025. Everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. Ready, 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 ready. That's the right. Bible carrying sucker. Oh, yeah. Even some sinners would be like, really? really? <laughs> <laughs> some sinners would be like, are you for real? Amen. And you get some crazy church folk who don't know the Bible. They jump up, oh, 2025, 2025. <laughs> oh, 2025. Oh, 2025. Are you a fool? Sinner be looking at you like, really? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Lord, dear God, I love to make it plain. Amen. Listen at this now. Mark chapter 13 and verse 32. Of that day. And that hour. Of that hour. Knoweth no man. Know it. No, not the angels know which are in heaven, in heaven. Neither the Son, neither the son but the Father. All right, give me the book of Jeremiah 23 and begin at verse 18 quickly because my time is getting away from here. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen at this. Now in Jeremiah chapter 23. Begin at verse 18. At verse 18. Follow me. For who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord? Yes. And hath perceived and heard his word? Who hath stood? Where God was giving advice. And, hath and who have perceived. And heard his who word. Take God and heard. That's what I'm interested in. God's word. That's it. Uh -huh. Who hath marked his word. Who have marked his word. His word. And heard it. And heard it. Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury. What? He, behold, a whirlwind, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone He's forth in fury. He's going to tear down these mega churches. That's right. He lets you go along for a little bit now. That's right. Let you build up and get all happy, but God going to bring everything down to your knees. Oh, yeah. Read fast. Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury, uh -huh. even a grievous whirlwind. Yes. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Yes. The anger of the Lord shall not return. God anger shall Listen, not. I'd rather have you angry with me. Oh, yeah. Your anger don't mean nothing. That's right. But God anger, brother, makes me tremble. That's right. At the very thought of it. Oh, yes. Because he can touch anything you have. Oh, yes. Touch your son, touch your daughter, touch your wife, touch your job. Amen. I don't care who you are, how strong you are. You can be a barbell boy, but you can't bench press God. That's right. Eh? That's right. What did he say? The anger of the Lord shall not return. God's anger. 
shall not return, shall not return until he have executed until he have executed or have performed until he have performed the thoughts of his heart the thoughts of his heart in the latter days he shall consider it perfectly in the last days when God do it you will understand I have not sent these prophets here it is amen viewers this is the situation you're in. You that's following right. men that fulfill that fulfill these this scripture right here. Jeremiah and 23. Some of them is your father, your husband, your brother, your uncle, your granddaddy, you. That's right. Your son. These fellas get under some ham and egg, black eyed pea vision. It had some pig ears and llama beans and blood pressure shot up and started seeing spots and thought it was angels visiting them. <laughs> that's right. Blood pressure all up and saw lights and they just sitting there looking at them. Amen. Next thing you know, they're yelling. Angels! That's right. Angels! Sound like me, Pastor. No, it's your blood pressure. Yes. That fat back got you. Yes. <laughs> hey! That's right. Too much pork you got? Too much pork. Amen. You got too much pork. That's right. Too much salt in your blood. That's right. Bless the name of the Most High. I have not sent these prophets. I want you to get this. A lot of you have a pork chop bishop, a pork That's chop right. apostle, a ham and egg elder, and a bacon deacon. That's you right. Saw all these lights because their blood pressure is up. Amen. And they talking about angels from heaven. No, that's just too much fat back in his blood. That's right. Eh? That's right. Come on, son. Jeremiah 23 and verse 21. What is it? I have not sent these prophets. God talking. Amen. What is a prophet? Messenger. Yeah. Now let's get an understanding, Boston, Massachusetts, and you that are watching. Yeah. Do you really think, just look at the messengers of the scriptures. This is your guideline. This is your map. Right. This is your example. This is your pattern of good works. That's right. Look at when God sent men in the Bible. Yeah. Look at what they preach and compare it with what men preach today. That's right. It's not the same. No. God sent men to warn you to stop up. You stop the wickedness. Break up your folly ground. Turn away from sin. That's right. Turn away from evil. Get on God's side to escape his judgment. Right. Escape the punishment and the wrath of the creator of the world. Yeah. When these men done with you today, hmm. you don't never, you don't even know it's judgment. That's true. You don't know nothing about God's wrath. Because the only thing they got, the way they paint this picture, right here is heaven. Yeah. And God want everybody to have Rolls Royces, <laughs> Bentleys, right. fine jets, and that is the blessings of God. That's right. That's right. All of those things will pass away yeah. with everyone that uses it. Oh, yes. There are a lot of wealthy men that died. Yeah. But many of you young people never heard of Onassis. When Onassis was living, he was an oil tycoon. He was the richest man in the world. Oh, yeah. John F. Kennedy, who was the president of the 60s, who died the same year I was born, 63, when he got assassinated years later, his wife, Jackie Kennedy, married Onassis, That's right. who was an oil tycoon. And when Onassis was living, he was the richest man in the world. Onassis died, yeah. but oil was still here. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Rich men come and go. Oh, yes. Which lets you know the answer is not in wealth. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. So the devil sent men to program you to be materialistic junkies, which is nothing but a religious distraction from the reality of God. That's right. God made you to live for him. Yeah. If you work and get rich, if God bless you that way, fine. fine. But if you have riches, don't ever let riches have you. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? I have not sent these prophets. The Lord said, I ain't sent these fellows out here. I ain't sent these preachers. Yet they ran. Oh, they're running too. Oh, yes. They're running from one end of America to the other. They're running all over the place, and then they say their ministry is blessed. And if you take note, they always center the blessings of their ministry based upon what they got. Right. They house. That's right. Preachers that say, if the Lord bless you, you have a house like mine. That's what yeah. they tell you. Oh, yeah. They say, look at my car. Yeah. My car is an example of what God can do for you. No, it ain't. No. I don't want to steal to get what you got. That's right. 
If you drive a Bentley and I drive one, I want to get mine honestly. Yeah. But I don't want my Bentley to have me. Right. In other words, if I get a Bentley, yeah. if that Bentley going to change my mind towards God, I don't need it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In fact, anything you get, if it's going to alter your walk with God, yeah. you don't need it. That's right. Make God your top priority. That's right. And make God the greatest priority in your whole life. Amen. Everything else is second. Oh, yes. Are you listening to me? I have not sent these prophets. And this is what these preachers should be preaching. Yeah. But God said, I didn't send them. So if God didn't send them, somebody did. Somebody did. And the only one left is the devil. That's right. Huh? I have not sent these prophets yet what? Yet they reign. Oh, they're out there too. Amen. Hands over their ears, spitting and hollering, hanging out with movie stars. Mm -hmm. huh? That's, That's right. why Joel Alstein, Kanye West can come in there with his old satanic choir, live like the devil and get, get all the wives all they want, make all the babies they want. And, while, and Joel Alstein just sit right there looking at them perform. <laughs> That's right. Then we enjoy Kanye. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Then we enjoy Kanye. That's right. Let me tell you, religious fake or something. You think these R&B singers and these entertainers and movie stars, just because they sing some so-called Christian music or mention the name Jesus, you that much of a sucker think if they sing a song and mention Jesus, that make them a Christian? Mm. Jesus is a lifestyle. That's it. It ain't just a name in your mouth. Preach it. It's a lifestyle. That's it. Wonderful, brother. You can sing about his name, yeah. but if you don't live up to his teaching, your name ain't worth a dime. That's right. Wonderful. It's a lifestyle. Wonderful, man. You're ready to call somebody a Christian because they use the name Jesus. Amen. Snoop Dogg now, I'm talking about something. I'm, I'm one of Jesus' chosen ones. Liar! That's a lie. How in the world you one of Jesus' chosen ones that got your own porn? Amen. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Got your own porn, making your own porn tapes, still smoking your weed. Still smoking. Mm. I, I want to, so here, here, make a, a song with Jesus. Yeah. Throw the name Jesus in there and still. That's right. <laughs> the, the, it, it, it's, it's, it's the Snoop bounce. It's the sno <laughs> no, no, no steps in particular. No. It's just the Snoop bounce. That's right. The bounce is telling you, I'm the devil, I'm the devil, I'm the devil. I'm the devil. My Lord, my Lord. So the so-called gospel singers, yeah. they get pure sinners on their albums. For what? For what? They are willing to sell out on God if it will sell their product. That's right. The Bible says you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. How are you going to cross paths with the devil Go to ahead. serve God's purpose? That's right. You're either on God's side or you're not. Or you're not. Entertainers come to many of our meetings all the time. NBA players and NFL players. What do I care? Amen. I don't give them no special seat Amen. at all. No, you don't. You ain't nothing but dust to me. That's right. That's all. That's it. I don't care how many millions you got. I'm not impressed. No. Why? Because you ain't got more than the Lord. Amen. Heaven and earth is his. Yeah. But we're going to take God and everything in it. That's right. My job as a minister of Jesus Christ is to prepare you to meet God. Meet God. Not to prepare you to get rich and That's wealthy right. and all that stuff. Go get a job. Go to school. Go That's to it. work. My job is to prepare you to meet the Lord. Finish up Jeremiah so I can knock off. I have not sent these prophets, yet they reign. Yes. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Uh -huh. But if they had stood in my counsel yes. and had caused my people to hear my words... Then they should have turned them from their evil way. All right. And from Give the, me here, brother, real quick. And from the evil of their doing. Wait a minute. If they was what? But if they had stood in my counsel. You see, my job is to stand in God's counsel. These men are supposed to be standing in God's counsel. Right. And what? And it caused my people. And it's supposed to cause God's people to hear God's word. Then they should have turned them from their evil way. Wait a minute. Mm. These men ain't turning nobody from their evil way. No. They got dances and social parties right in churches. That's true. Right in churches, social parties, That's dances, yeah. social parties and dances right in the church. Amen. They're not turning nobody. No. And then the people are so used to it until they're like, wow. And then if a church don't have it, they say, man, I ain't down with that church. Yeah. I ain't down with that church. I like a church that can party. Yeah. I like a church that can jam. That's right. 
If you go to the main auditorium and talk about Jesus, then go down to the fellowship hall and slow drag, bumping and grinding with your girlfriend. My Lord. And then when I preach against it, you know what they say all over social media around the world? He's an extremist. <laughs> That's right. He's an extremist. Yes, no, I'm a Bible preacher. That's right. I believe that Bible. That's it. You will never get me from that Bible. No. I am hooked on the Bible. I shoot up with scripture. That's it. I, 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 I shoot up with scripture. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's all I'm interested in. That's all I don't care what you drive. I don't care what you own. All I know is when you walk this planet, you must live a life to please God because you're here for a while and soon you're going to be gone. Going to be gone. Give me, give me, go back to where we were, to the foundation of it. Amen. Real quickly now. Back in 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 12. All right. Now this I say that every one of you saith, I am a Paul. I am a Paul. And I have Apollos. I am Apollos. And I have Cephas. I am of Cephas. And I have Christ. What? Is Christ divided? That's what I'm asking you, viewers. That's right. All these religions out here, the devil have put these religions out to bring division. Yeah. And God sent me along. I said, God did it. Not no board of directors or some cheap seminary school. I never took a Bible course since I've been black. And I've been black 59 years. And last time I checked, I ain't changing colors. <laughs> That's right. I am sent to call you to Bible. That's it. Nothing else. That's it. That's right. Well, Pastor, somebody commented, said, Pastor Dennis, if I come to your church and they pass the offering pan around, uh, uh, if I don't have nothing to put in there, what would you say? I wouldn't say nothing. Nothing. If you ain't got nothing to get in there, that's your business. That's right. But that you do got something to give, and it ain't a dollar. It's right. your life. Your life. That's the greatest offering you can give. That's right. It can't fit in a pan either. No. I'm not after your money, I'm after your soul. You're That's gonna die one day, young man. Yeah. You see the streets of Boston, the streets of America, this young generation is being shot, murdered, killed all over the world, yeah. amen. And you just go to church on some Saturday, some Sunday to make you feel good. I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm here to make you think That's with right. scripture so you can get it right. That's right. The reason why the world is in the condition that they're in, the fear of God is not in them. Yeah. When I came up, we feared our elders. We respect our elders. Yeah. You get any household and the children become of age and that children do not fear and respect their father and mother, watch what happened to that house. Right. It's the same way what happened to church. Yeah. The fear of God left church. The, the churches don't have no <laughs> fear, no regard. These so-called Christian female singers out here with a tight jumpsuit on showing every groove that God gave them. That's right. Up there performing on a stage for me, Christians. Yeah. Suits look like plastic. <laughs> Women. Amen. All that meat shelved inside of a tight plastic suit like they put on an extra layer of skin. That's right. Walking across the stage, and they called that a Christian concert. Uh -huh. How insulting are you? Yes. That's insulting. And they say they're Christian because they sang about Jesus looking like a hooker. Amen. Huh? Amen. Got a got an extra tight jumpsuit, and the so-called Christian men is all out their chair looking. Oh yeah. Looking at that stuff jumping, they looking. <laughs> and when she asked him, "What you know about Jesus?" He would say, "Oh, he's all right. <laughs> he's all right." Amen. And the music. In a so-called Christian concert, it ain't no different no from the concerts you go to. No. They get up there and do the same thing like in a world concert. Yeah. Somebody come at the microphone. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. 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 And you got all the Christian audience out there. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. That's, that's right. That's what you do. That's what they do at the concert. In other words, your singing and your dance yeah. don't change. No difference. You mean to tell me the Holy Ghost come upon you mm. and your dance by the Holy Ghost is the same thing you did with James Brown? <laughs> Amen. My Leviticus Lord. 10 and 10 says put a difference. And that she may put difference, you may put difference between, holy between holy and unholy. And, unholy and between unclean and, unclean and clean. It ain't a person on the planet that claims there's some Christian going to tell me you ain't supposed to be different. You're supposed That's to be right. different in walk, in talk, in look, in, look. in character, in attitude, in everything. Everything. 
So you that got so-called Christian relatives, look at them. Yeah. Supposed to be Christian. Look at them walking around smoking, drinking, yeah. gambling. Look at your Christian sister with a halter on yeah. and a skirt no longer than my jacket, a skirt this big, her blouse that big, and her fingernails that long. That long. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And then she tell you, God ain't looking at your outward. <laughs> she can't even scratch her head. She got to reach all the way up here. That's right. That's right. You women out there love the way God made you. Yeah. Give Walgreen back them old paint brushes you call eyelashes. Amen. Take that fake hair out of your head. Yeah. Love the way God made you. Yes. Preach it. Preach it. Give me Acts. Amen. Chapter Acts. 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. Amen. Boston, Massachusetts. Amen. Remember that. I want to say you said it wrong. I said it last night. I meant to say it. Right. You are a mess. You are a mess, Boston. Oh, You're yeah. Boston, Massachusetts. That's right. You're in a mess, not just Boston, but every place under the sun. Oh, yes. God wants you to repent. repent. God wants you sorry about your wicked life that you live in. That's what God wants. That's right. He wants you to repent of your sins. Be sorry. Be convicted in your heart for li at living like a fool. Young man, you know you're living out here like a fool. Mm -hmm. You got your hair starting to want your hair grow long like a woman. What's the matter with you? Matter with then you. you want your friends to look at you as a man. But yet you got your hair long like a woman. And then you want to put on your wife Bobby pin, your sister Bobby pin, That's and right. wear a man bun. What's the matter with you? Matter it ain't you. no sissy Christians. No. God said he made man in his image. That's right. God That's made right. me a man, brother. <laughs> That's right. In every way. In every way. In, in every way. <laughs> That's right. What did he say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. Repent. That's living together, not married. Yeah. Get some self-respect and self-decency. Yeah. Break that up and stop shacking up. That's right. Well, that's the way my mother, I saw my mother live like that. But if you see your mother jump out the window, that means you're going to do it. Mm. Old folks say two wrongs, don't make it right. That's get right. some morals, get some ethics. Yeah. Stop living together, not married. That's right. Well, he promised he's going to marry me. We got three babies. Why, Pastor Dennis, I've been wondering about that. Why he won't marry? He ain't gonna marry. He ain't thinking about marrying you because you're giving up free goods. That's right. You're giving your Oreo cookies up free. <laughs> as long as you keep giving up free, he'll talk marriage all day. Yes, he will. You will keep having baby after baby after baby after baby. Before you know it, he may disappear. Yeah. Close your safe deposit box. Amen. Put some clothes on. That's it. And get them out your house. That's it. Stop shacking up. Wonderful. You ain't married. Stop living together, not married. married. If you're not a hoe, stop living like one. That's right. Get that ankle chain off. Yeah. What do an ankle chain and Jesus got in common? <laughs> Are you listening? That's right. Well, I think it make my legs look cute. You're a liar. That's a lie. Take that thing off and wash the more ankles of yours. That's right. <laughs> hey! Then Peter said unto them, repent. What them long fingernails? You think them long fingernails, all that plastic make you look cute? Yeah. Why don't you be real? You got all that fake plastic on your nails, rhinestone nails all painted up. Yeah. Just best be the way God made you. You don't know what to do with yourself. You got your tongue pierced, your nose pierced, That's navel right. pierced. You got your breast pierced. Yeah. Pierced off. Why? 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 Why have you butchered yourself like this? Yeah. Why did you put all these holes in you? Sit around and hang out yeah. all night. Friends all around your house like roaches. Amen. Smoking and drinking. And you young man that's hanging around a bunch of men who's about nothing. Mm -hmm. Woman, your mouth is just as filthy as a man. Every, every three words is cussing. Right. MF, SOB this. You're not even a lady. Amen. You out there all out. Hey, what's up, B? You call your fellow girls bees, and he call his fellow boys pimps. That's right. The bees and the pimps. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. Sad how society have gone. Oh, yeah. Sad. And the preachers have went to sleep on the job. Isn't it ironic? Out of all these mega preachers, none of them is preaching about the correction of the world no. and how the world need God. Not a mega preacher in America or the world. That alone let you know that devil sent them. That's right. The devil sent them all with one message. 
And that message is a distraction. Oh, yeah. Then fall in love with materialism and fall out of love with God. You better repent now in Boston. Repent. And be baptized. Every one of you. How much? Every one of you. This is the true way of getting right with God. The scriptural way. That's right. God ain't say bow your head and raise your hands. Your old lying preacher said it. Yeah. God ain't never say hold a preacher's hand and pray a sinner's prayer. Let that dirty hand alone. <laughs> That's right. The Bible ain't never say that. The Bible ain't say touch the screen no. and God gonna come in your heart. The only thing gonna happen, your hand gonna get warm. That's, That's it. it. That's it. You touched the screen a lot of times, didn't you? I didn't, I didn't do that. You didn't do that? I don't believe I did that. You didn't go that far? I didn't go that far. I, didn't I can't remember that. that, Pastor. I don't yeah. think but I... He used, to, he used to hang with Shambach. <laughs> William used to hang... In fact, Shambach laid hands on him. Oh, my Lord. That's why I got to stay on him. Here we go. Make sure Shambach don't rise oh, up in him. Oh, my Lord. Pastor, that was the past. He Pastor. teamed up with Shambach. <laughs> he teamed up with Reverend Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loved Robert Tilton. Quite a bit of fellows that he used to like. My Lord, my Lord. In fact, he had a little blessed cloth from for Reverend Knight. Pass. Reverend Knight. <laughs> Zoom the camera on him, Jason. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. Those were the old days. Old days, Pastor. Old days. But for some of you, <laughs> what I just mentioned are present days for some of you. Oh, yes. You know, you are blessed God knows when God delivered you from a pulpit liar. That's right. It's a, one of the greatest blessings under the sun. That's right. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. And be baptized. Every one of you. How what? In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Preachers preach that you were born a sinner. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. Sinner is one that commits A-C-T-S, acts, plural, of sin. Yeah. Nobody was born a sinner, no. but everybody was born in sin, singular. Yeah. And the sin that we were born with was an inherited sin. That inherited sin fell upon us as a result of the transgression of the first man, Adam. Yeah. He fell and transgressed against God as a result of that. Everyone that was born after Adam was born in a world with sin and shaped into iniquity. That's right. God came manifest in the flesh, which was Jesus Christ himself, walked here on earth in a human body. The body was not God, but the spirit of God that was in the body, that was God. And God used that body as a pattern, as an example, to show you and I how to live right and show you and I how, what do God expect out of us. That's right. Nobody can leave a better example for us than God. That's right. Get your sins washed away. God instituted a new birth. new birth. He told Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except the man is born of the water and of the spirit. When you're born of the water, you're baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. When you're born of the spirit, you're filled with the spirit by the spirit, which is the spirit, the Holy Ghost speaking in another tongue. As the Spirit of God give utterance. And when you speak in tongue, it ain't something that a preacher can turn on and turn off. That's right. It's as the Spirit, the Spirit give, utterance. give utterance. That's when God come upon you. Yeah. Not going to some fake revival and some lie get up and say, when I count to three, you're going to speak in tongue. One, two, three. And a bunch of nuts get up. <laughs> if any of you ever went to a church and done that, you ain't got the Holy Ghost. No. You may be filled with Casper, but you ain't got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> That's right. You just got an old spook in you. That's it. Repent and be baptized, oh, every one God of you. And be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. For the removing, for the washing away of your sins. And the Lord promised. And ye shall receive the gift of the for Holy the Ghost. For the promises unto you and to your children and to them that is afar off. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. What of God said, the Lord have spoken. He have called the whole earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. There's anybody here today want to get right the Bible way, not some man-made cheap religion that can set up some fake salvation. If you want to get right the Bible way and want to escape the judgment that God is bringing upon the world, God has sent me in this earth like it was in the days of Noah. They didn't believe Noah preaching, yeah. and they mocked him. Many don't believe me. They make mock of me. That's right. But it don't change. The Lord is coming. That's right. And it ain't going to be no flood upon the earth this time with water. No. It's going to be fire. fire. Huh? Anybody want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet if you want it. Stand on your feet if you want it. Glory to God. Amen. All of you that are standing, all of you that are standing, go right to the back. All of you that are standing, 
Go right to the back, all of you that are standing. Hallelujah. And ain't nobody born again until you got this. That's right. If you bow your head and raise your hand, you ain't born again. You no more saving a duck and smoke, crack and shoot dice. That's and come right. up with the number seven every time you roll them. Amen. It ain't nobody been saved by your head and raise your hand. I accept Christ as my personal say. Ain't nobody in the Bible ever did that. No, nobody. Nobody. You're not saved. You've been lied to. That's right. But I was baptized, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Jesus ain't tell you to be baptized, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. No. Jesus said be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And you can't be baptized in the name unless you know the name. That's right. So when the preacher took you down in water and said, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, he didn't do what Jesus told you to do. No. Jesus said, do it in, in the, the name. 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 I got a name. I'm a son by birth, a husband by marriage, a father, because we got seven kids. Yeah. But if I tell you to do something in my name, are you going to say son, husband, and father? No, you're going to call my name Jennings. That's right. The name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is Jesus, and he's the Christ. That's it. So the preacher must call the Lord's name, like That's Jesus said. That's do it in the name of. of. So for you to know the name of, I got to call the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And what is that name? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So if any of you was baptized and the preacher just said, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you still ain't baptized, right? That's right. You just wet. That's it. Amen. And you're not saved. You're not a Christian. You've just been deceived and tricked by another pulpit liar who may be your father. Yeah. Your uncle, your granddaddy, your brother, your boyfriend, your slap happy old grandpappy. That's right. You're going to come back and do it like the Bible said do it. All right, who give me the correct time, brothers? 2.51. 251. All right. Come on back at 5 o'clock for the last session. You come on back now, Boston, Massachusetts. Okay, man. You come on back and hang out with Pastor Jennings one more night. And if you don't get baptized this session, you think about it. That's right. Think about it because we're going to come on back tonight and bring you God everlasting word. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. They'll be getting themselves ready for baptism, God willing. We're going to ask uh, Minister Lionel to close us out in prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, eternal Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we ask you, hallelujah, to be with us, Father. We ask you, Lord, hallelujah. We say thank you, Father, for the souls, hallelujah, they're going down in water, Father, that you fill them up, hallelujah, with the gift of the Holy Ghost, Father, hallelujah, as speaking other tongues as the Spirit of God. Have mercy, Father. We ask you, Lord, to keep us, Father, not only to baptize, but to continue in the apostles' doctrine, knowing, Father, hallelujah, this has to do to the end, Father. Help us and guide us, Father, and keep us safe, Father. We ask you, Lord, to bring us back, hallelujah, to hear the message again, Father, to keep us right, to give us a heart to continue in the ways of holiness. Father, we ask you, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.